So how did you get the sketch originally? Then? Uh, you've got a photograph there, have you? Yeah, you work from um, photographs. I'm often looking for... That actually is a photograph of um, a lounge downstairs. Um, I've got several photographs. I'm looking so I can get sort of... different um, views of it. Um, often I'm, 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 I'm looking for photographs that sort of, something sort of quite bright. Um, and even with that photograph, which isn't, but what, what I like about the picture is the light in it. So, and what catches my eye about this particular photograph is that light coming in. That's what I like to work on. Um, is it the that out is the light, so you've got with another light in the window, and the light on the uh, the painted floor as well. Um, but invariably, although I use photographs to work from, what I end up with doesn't look much like a photograph. Um, um, I don't do something that's highly realistic. It's more of a representation inspired by the photograph. Often I will simplify shapes. I'll maybe change the composition a little bit. Or just leave something out or um, not to add things but I do use um, other artists paintings inspiration uh, for how to sort of tackle some subjects so sometimes I'm looking at um, a painting you know um, I've got the art books sitting here often I'll look at those paintings almost as much as I look at the photograph right. for ideas of how to sort of tackle um, a particular sort of shape or problem and I do kind of regard a lot of painting as, as almost like problem solving um, you have something in a photograph but you're trying to represent it in a different way um, it's got to be something more than a photograph something different it's not about making it look just the same because you could just print up another photograph for that it's about bringing something more personal, a bit more um, emotional um, to a painting. Um, so you're painting how it makes you feel as well? Don't well, I put feelings in the painting. Um, so, I think that's about it really. You mentioned the light there, so what, are you trying to get the actual colour of the light, the, the tone of the light, the, the golden glow of the light? You said you were drawn to the actual light coming through the window. I think it's probably a result of having been spent most of my life living in Wales where we don't, it's often cloudy. Um, I just really like light and I really like sunny days. Um, it's a bit tragic. I should live in a country like France where the sun comes out more often. Um, I'm just very drawn to light. I think it just makes me feel better. Um, and, I, and I like to sort of try and capture that in the paintings, that feeling you get when you're, you're looking at the light. Um, and colour, I love colour as well. Because up to me, my house would be painted in dreadful loud colours. You might think those are quite loud colours. They're not as loud as I have them. These are my husband's choice. Much more stuff. So obviously the colours uh, represent living in Britain, the greyness and uh, in some of your paintings, the trees and whatever are quite charcoal grayish. Well, yeah, I, I, I like to... It's really... I'd say it's strange, but it's not strange at all. I generally like painting autumn, winter paintings in winter, and I like painting summer paintings in the summer. Um, so I almost am almost like inspired by, by the light that's outside the window mm -hmm. and then what I paint. Um, and so, yeah, at the moment I've done in you know, the last couple of months and a lot of painting with sort of winter um, you know, trees without leaves on um, they're beautiful themselves or, 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 or trees with sort of you know just almost like skeleton of leaves on yeah. um, and then come spring I'll be painting pictures of you know bright green leaves and stuff like that I'm just sort of moved by by you know the seasons what's going on around me and its size as well